Hey guys, this is Red Torals, and I have a very exciting tutorial for you guys today. Uh, today, I will be showing you guys how to create this uh, black hole effect in Sony Vegas. Doesn't matter which um, version you use, it's a pretty cool effect. Um, and here, we can also animate it so it goes from the side into the center. You can do whatever you want with it, you can make it bigger and smaller, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, let's open up uh, Sony Vegas, drag your clip in that you're gonna use, and it's just some random gameplay here. And the first thing you wanna do is right click on the, uh, the layer menu or layer editor menu, and yeah, right click, and then uh, click insert video track and here in insert video track we will have to add something so to, to find it uh, go to media generators tab in media generators there will be a lot of different things and you have to select color gradient uh, color gradient and then in color gradient uh, there is ellipt elliptical ring and just drag it in wherever you want to add the effect uh, okay now once you, you drag it in it's gonna pop up this window here and in this window you got uh, controls here and in the controls there's like three knobs it says one two three here so just drag the first one into the middle make sure it's not completely in the middle and then the second one following behind it really closely and then the third one uh, right behind the second one it's not as close though okay yeah, I think that's good uh, aspect ratio angle change this to 51 and uh, distance change this to 0.124 alright and close this window alright that'll just adjust the settings uh, to the proper settings alright so now what we want to do is change the compositing mode and to do that as you can see here there's a layer um, yeah it's uh, the elliptical ring layer and on the layer it shows uh, compositing mode button and yeah it's, it's just a little green button beside the level or the um, opacity uh, so click on that button here and uh, it will show this window and here select custom alright uh, in custom there will be three options select Sony height map then click add and then click OK and you'll have this window here uh, bring up the amp am amplitude excuse me bring up the amplitude to 1 bring up the elevation to 1 all the way up to 1 and then smoothness bring this up to 31 so as you can see we already have this nice looking effect we're almost done um, now what we have to do is add glow for some reason glow works and it makes everything smoother inside of the uh, effect or of the black hole if you want to call it that anyways to, uh, to add glow go to video effects tab right here and in video effects find glow uh, then click on glow here and it's gonna show these options choose um, select white soft glow and drag it on to our layer our uh, elliptical layer alright um, for glow percent put it down to 84 for glow intensity put it up to 500 5600 and for glow suppression I'm not sure about that one yeah we'll, we'll just have to mess around a little bit see what's best mmm suppression looks cool uh, it's a little bit uh, square-like, but at least there's nothing in the middle. 
um, put the suppression down to 200 so again glow percent 0 0.084 intensity 5.684 suppression 0.200 or 0.2 okay so now we have this basic shape of a um, black hole now what we have to do is animate it that's the final step so to animate it uh, go to event pen crop and if you can't see this little button here uh, then zoom in uh, scroll in uh, and yeah just click on this button that's in the middle it shows event pen crop if you can't see it still then right click and there is uh, uh, video event pen crop anyways just click on it there you go with the window window pops up here um, and now we can animate it so at first uh, drag the uh, drag our elliptical or our F layer whatever it is I'm not sure what it means what F means but in this uh, in this menu here, in Event Pen Crop, um, you can't really. Uh, it goes the opposite way of wherever you drag it. So you drag it down, it goes up. So yeah. So keep that in mind. Just drag it to the side. You can drag it wherever you want, but I'm just saying, drag it to the side. Um, and go to then go to whatever frame you want when you want the uh, uh, elliptical ring to come out and um, or whatever yeah whatever second whatever frame in the timeline and then just drag it in to the screen again right back into the screen and that's it that's done uh, now it's gonna animate let's see what it looks like pretty cool it's a little bit laggy excuse me for that I'm gonna put it to auto maybe that's gonna be better all right so it's a bit less laggy so there we go it just goes in you can mess around with it make it look good uh, thank you guys for watching please thumbs up the video it helps me a lot gives me courage to make more videos so uh, thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and see you guys later.